you gotta love it you gotta love it you gotta love south african music playing right here on bounce nation i go by feeling jean and this right here is the big doctor dj epic mumesikia why chukucha wacha mchezo today we are with him in the house you wanna ask him is it wacha mchezo Ma, Do people speak right really? right yeah. like we always get the lyrics wrong like for some I, reason everyone who is kenya or who knows swahili mm -hmm. he has what have they said <laughs> why chukucha <laughs> <laughs> why did you put that? Why did you put that? What does that mean? Oh, we're actually saying what Jaivu Chief. Ah. Yeah. As we are going to say what I'm saying, which means like stop playing games. Like, oh, don't okay. play games. Yeah. So, right. we have our own translation. That's dope. That's and, dope. You know, <laughs> and it sounds that way completely. Yeah. And trust me, from today, you're going to be hearing Wacha Mchezo. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to call it Wacha Mchezo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, why did you kuja? We always say, like, why, do, why did you kuja? Which means, like, why did you come? Basically, oh. we have our own translation. It All right. always works out. All, All right. right. <laughs> For those who are watching and wondering what is happening, who this? This is a DJ and a musician all the way from South Africa. We call him the musical genius himself. He goes by DJ Back. Let's give up for DJ Back. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to Kenya. Thank you for having me. Is Thank it your you first time? No, that's no, not my first time. Ah. Yeah, but all right, so how are you loving Kenya? What, what do you love most about Kenya? Oh, the scenery. The mm -hmm. scenery is beautiful. I love the green. Mm -hmm. Like, I love the tall buildings. Everything is just beautiful. Everything like, is yeah. beautiful. But tall buildings, you have that also. I of course, but I, <laughs> I love seeing it in Africa too. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. It's good. Like, you see another side of uh, Africa that you never get to see on TV because they always, they always uh, like show the dingy places. Yeah. Yeah, 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 100%. So that's really good. And the food, what have you sampled so far? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> no, I forgot. But I've been eating fast food so long, but I want to get ah. into the traditional side. Yeah. yeah. They need to take you to some places. You have to sample some. You have Samtura. to have Nyamachoma. Yeah, Samtura. Nyamachoma. I'm Samtura. looking forward to that. Yeah, Smoky Pasua. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's so many. I hope they're listening. Yes, I hope they're noting them down. Smocha. <laughs> yes. right. Smocha. You gotta have smocha, by yes. the way. Just ask them to, uh, to to take you to some place, to a nice place. Street food. All right. Go for street food, but right. at a nice place. Find a place where they cook, like, clean. it's clean. <laughs> yes. Because if it's not... <laughs> You don't want to know the sure. <laughs> I don't want to. You know. Yeah, we don't want to know the sure. Right, right, yeah. right. No, you're here because you are on an African tour. You yes. are currently on tour. Tell yes. us about that. What What is that all about? Oh man, mm. it's, I've just been getting a lot of requests from different countries, mm. wanting me to perform. So I was waiting for the right time to actually do them all. You get what I mean? So. My African tour is me just giving back to the people that have been supporting my music since the start. Yeah. And just, yeah, giving them the best performance and the best version of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And you worked with some very big names, especially mm -hmm. in the African, when it comes to African music. Of you course. worked with Wizkid. Yeah. You worked with Davido as well, on with Uhuru, DJ Maforisa. Yeah. Especially Soweto, Soweto Baby, like one of my favorites. It's like. That it's love. Your jam. And <laughs> it, that is my jam. Since the first <laughs> time I you. had it, man, I was jamming to that. It was a while back. It came out yeah. a while back, but it's still a hit. It's one still of those least. timeless hits. Like yeah, they paved yeah. the way for. Let's say I'm a piano. The, of course. Right? They did. They did. Because my chukucha was crazy. Yeah. And like if you hear the sounds, they're not that much different. From a piano. Yeah, yeah, it's just a bit of tricking here and there. Yeah. So you're the original OG. Of course, bro. <laughs> we have to. We have to represent. I know. Tell us about that. Like having worked with such big names in the industry, how did that even happen? Like especially, okay, let's talk about Soweto because it was... Why chukucha was big, but also Soweto. Yeah, tell yeah. us about that. Yeah. Oh, Soweto, baby. We were just chilling at the hotel mm. and yeah i just started making a beat and whiskey was interested in it mm. and then he just hopped on it we just vibed with each other we never wrote anything so we just freestyled no. the whole song yeah so no one sat down to write you, you oh wow no I right didn't. so you are the hotel and how about the studio you are the hotel did the oh well, we travel with the studio Oh, you travel we go, with yeah. recording equipment. Yeah, we travel so. with recording equipment just mm. for conveniences like that because we know we are creatives. We always think about music wherever we go. So mm. we want that when we think about something, we're able to put it down. You get what I mean? So that's how we work, basically. So you were chilling, there was you, there was uh, DJ Maforisa DJ as well Maforisa and Wiz Kid. Studio, yeah, and then the Wiz three Kid. of us. Yeah. Oh, wow. And Davido, how did uh, Davido, uh, the one you did with Davido and uh, Uhuru, how did that yeah. happen? 
Yeah. Uh, David O was in South Africa to make a song with Mafiki Zolo, mm -hmm. uh, called by Oskido. Mm -hmm. And then through that, he met us, which is Maporesa and I. And then he was keen on working with us. And then we just got into the studio and made heads. Yeah. <laughs> and why did you shoot the video? It's so interesting. Like oh. you, got, we see you like flying out our like a, a jet and stuff. And, and and those are days that was it that was that Dubai? Yeah, we shot it in Dubai. Yeah, yeah in the Dubai desert. Yeah. yeah, we were there for like eight days, mm -hmm. and then we just yeah we just vibed and made different clips as the days went along. So yeah. Awesome. It was crazy. I love that. <laughs> yeah. And um, okay, so there's this misconception about like a DJs. Okay, you've contributed a lot to different songs, of course. but you don't get to sing in the songs. But you are behind the beat, yeah, right? Of course. So tell us about that. So, like, have you had a different critics talk about that? Like, why are you claiming the rights to a song that you did not you did not sing? You know? Oh, uh, yeah. basically, a lot of people that know music know that the, a lot goes into music making. You get mm -hmm. what I mean? So whether it's production or it's writing mm -hmm. or it's performing the actual song, we are all one team that mm -hmm. makes one hit. You get what I mean? So yeah. like uh, the people that don't know the credits of the song usually misconcept and say that you're they not on the song. They just think it's a whiskey yeah. song. Yeah, that's and the then problem. <laughs> 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 then they have to go into the song to right. see, oh, this, this guy's name and this guy's name. So yeah, yeah. we're used to that. And you, and, you, and you being a DJ, are you advocating for that? We've, we've seen uh, DJ Khalid, he re mm -hmm. he, just the other day, last year, right? Yeah. He released an album. Yeah. And guys are like, okay, so people are expecting to hear Khalid sing. And okay. then he comes and he's like, we're the best music. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you're like, God did. And it's a whole album. And they're like, okay, so it is DJ Khalid's album. But it features Jay Z and yeah. it features yeah. all these other artists, yeah. and, and they were thinking like that. How is it a DJ Khaled album? So maybe you can just shed some light into that so that okay. more people understand. When it comes to that, there's there's a there's something called executive production, mm. which is what DJ Khaled does. DJ Khaled hears a beat mm. from a beat maker, and he goes and grabs that beat and looks for people that will fit onto the song. So he actually texts and calls those people and gets them into studio and tells them what the song should sound like and what they should do and not do. Mm. So obviously you're not going to see the part where he's telling Jay-Z to rap <laughs> like this, you get what I mean, or to do this or to talk right? about this. Yeah. So a lot of people don't see the actual executive production, which yeah. is the most important part of producing a song, you get what I mean? And also paying for more studio, studio time. 100%. And, and, and being on set and uh, different locations. 100%, yes, 100%, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. That's what he does. He executive produces mm. and then he puts songs together. He joins the beat with the vocalist. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, he releases the song. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now, you've been uh, to Kenya. You've told me this is not your first time. So, yeah. you've definitely seen the Kenyan nightlife. Of course. Being a DJ, Kenyan nightlife compared. Do we compare to South African nightlife? Yo. Do they two compare in any way? 100%. 100%. <laughs> especially the vibe. The mm. vibe is very crazy. Like, yeah. it's it's we can attach it to what we do in South Africa. So, mm. as I say, music is a universal language. So... Yeah. Whenever you hear a song, we all bump our heads the same way. And yeah. we all, yeah, we all go crazy in the parties the same way. So I feel like I'm at home, actually, when I'm at the nightlife. Yeah. Amazing. And uh, speaking of Kenya, of course, we're here to advocate for, we play a lot of South African music. Okay. Do you, as a DJ, play Kenyan music? And if you do, who are some of the artists from Kenya that you sample, you've sampled so far? Oh, yeah. Uh, my friends, Salty Soul. Ah, they're amazing. They're on tour. And, uh, but they yeah. shout out to Salty Soul. They were in Paris yesterday, <laughs> sold out. Yeah. Super yeah. amazing, yeah. And I'm very keen on uh, hearing more of Kenyan music because mm. we don't get exposed to it that much mm. in South Africa and other countries. So, mm -hmm. um, like, the reason for me doing the African tour is also to get to know the music that is outside of our country, you get what mm. I mean? And, yeah. yeah. And just sample new music, of course, 100%. and just go introduce them to it. I yeah. love that. And are you as a DJ, what's your favorite genre of music to play? Ah, uh, Afro <laughs> and piano. Ah, uh, Afro and piano. Afro yeah. and piano. I'm a piano. I'm a piano. 100%. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm, a, yeah, I'm a piano fever in Kenya. All right. It's yeah. Crazy. It's All crazy. Right. It's crazy. You, you see it. It's, okay. it's insane. Yeah, yeah in the club. I'm going to increase the craziness <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> and I was thinking he'll have more questions. Being a DJ <laughs> and you being a DJ, I was like, okay, you two, I'm just going to sit here and see how you guys are. I have so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Please, go so ahead. Go okay. ahead. Um, yeah. You said South Africa don't listen to Kenyan music. Is it that you guys have policies in South Africa that make people not listen to Kenyan music or other music? Uh, or Kenyan music is not making moves? Uh, yeah. 
I would say, like uh, South Africa, usually they play music that trends. Yeah, a lot. And there's been this this uh, policy that has happened of people complaining about too much American music that's been played in South Africa. Mm. So they have cut it down to make it like 80% South African music, what? so that they can. That's what actually, we're fighting for in Kenya. Yeah, so that they 80%. can. 80%. Yeah, yeah, on radio stations, so that they can actually grow the young artists that are. Yeah, we're fighting for the same. To get, As is yeah. 70%. Uh -huh. And the irony is. We are complaining about South African music. <laughs> <laughs> We're not complaining about American music. Us is South African music and Tanzanian music. That's what is is out there giving our artists Sleepless nights. Yeah. But, but, but we're still advocating for it. It's not it passed. It's not. It's, it's not. It's in the works. No, it, it, they're still working on it. I feel like the best solution is collaboration. You know, if right? if we collaborate, yeah. then we wouldn't be able to complain about any music because it will be African music. Yeah. African music. Yeah, it's about time. I mean. Exactly. Yeah. And, and there was a time even your um, your your president a while back who was advocating for African Africans to literally have one language, yeah. and they were advocating for Kiswahili. They, were, uh -huh. they thought like Africans should just have one universal language that all Africans are uh, listen to instead of like teaching English in schools yeah. they should teach Swahili yeah. instead like they, they should teach Swahili and English what's your take on that do you, oh. uh, because you have different languages we come yeah. here we have our own language but we don't have one universal language yeah yeah uh, like I think it would be dope to have a language that we all understand right uh, since Swahili is not included in South African we have mm -hmm. 11 uh, official languages in mm -hmm. South Africa so I think Swahili uh, also the words in Swahili resonate with the words in South Africa because like there's a word that you guys say Akuna Matata mm -hmm. uh, in South Africa we say Haona Matata Ah, you get what I mean. So yeah. we we can hear each other. Yeah, so, yeah. because I think like we just originate from the same place. There's uh, there are uh, Sudanese guys that mm. are uh, they they say like Luos came from Sudan, Everyone the Nilots, right? Everybody and then in the there's world. the Bantus. Everybody. The Bantus, like even in Kenya, we have yeah. different subjects yeah. and different language. Like you understand, you tend to understand. Hundred percent. So I think yeah. like we just came from. <laughs> All, everyone Literally. is from Africa. Everyone in the world. Exactly. We came exactly. from one place. Um, how long have you been? DJ actually. I know that oh, people man. out here wondering. I know. It's yeah. I was it a DJ be before I was an artist, eh? like yeah. since 2002. 2002. Yeah. What? What? Okay, you don't look like you. <laughs> <laughs> there are some people in studio, they were not People born. are counting fingers. <laughs> <laughs> How many years is it? How many years? Some of these people, they were not born by 202, so they're like, excuse me, you've I'm been working way. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, That's crazy. I'm but, yeah, so I tried to. it's amazing. Yeah. You've seen different artists come and go, you've seen different genres come and go, you've seen. Like, I know, but, and you've performed a lot. So, what has been uh, some of your fe memorable venues you've performed that, like uh, you'll never forget? Like one of those venues oh. you've been at, and you're like, yo, uh, the highlight. Yeah. Surprisingly, like, not that I'm kissing ass or anything, but yeah. it's the Blanket Festival. Yeah. Blankets and wine. Blankets yeah. and, yeah. and wine. Yeah. yeah, that's a while back. Eh? Yeah. What? Yeah. We okay, we need to bring it back it because. Good. Yeah, but. Yeah. People are changing. I think people <laughs> have new ideas, you know? <laughs> new things. Yeah. So um, let's let's talk about why you're in Kenya, because I'm sure you have shows that the people at home are watching want to know where you're gonna be. Oh, yeah. So for instance, tomorrow where you're gonna be performing at? Uh, tonight. Yeah. I'm oh, we start be, tonight. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Tonight I'm gonna be at the uh, Excess Millionaires. Excess. Uh huh. Ah, yeah. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Yes. <laughs> well, on a job about Excess. If you know Thursday, <laughs> if you know excess then you Thursdays, know. <laughs> you know how it's going down. It's just like if you know, you know. Like yes. we cannot talk much about, talk about it, about but it's it. just like. <laughs> yes. Then on Friday. <laughs> on Friday. Uh, Oh, Friday is Gemini. Gemini. Gemini, and then, yeah, Gemini and then, they go high. And then it's uh, Black Samurai. On Saturday. Yeah, and then Black Onyx. Samurai. Ah, yeah. Awesome, awesome. Those awesome, are like awesome. really top places. Like, yeah. you know, the, the, all the chicks are coming out. If you know the chicks, they They're do not piano play. Lovers they are, do not are play. Smiling. They do not play. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Like, I'm okay, not even I'm kidding. Not like, I was seeing this, this chick who was on Twitter the other day, and she was like, bro. So me, I go to Gemini on, <laughs> and she went there on Friday. Yeah. And then she's seeing like short dresses, heels, like, and like, eh, me, I don't fit here. I turn in the quiver. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, where, you'll see it. You get that. Looking you'll, you'll forward see, to that. See, Looking forward to it. All right, so uh, time keeps evolving. You, you've been playing since 202. It is 2023. Yeah. Uh, tell, us, uh, tell us about, like, different technologies you've seen, like, maybe in terms of, like, uh, the players and, and, and music and that. Tell, how does it, how has it changed for you? Oh yeah, um, we went. I went from DJing with uh, vinyls mm. to PCs. 
I have a DJ yeah. friend of mine who still use vinyl. It's, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Very classics. Yeah. To PCs, to decks, mm. the USBs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we still yet to see where, where the technology is going to evolve to. I, I, thought, I think I'm going to be That's awesome. You're in my, my courts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so much knowledge that I want to know. Yeah. So, as a DJ, yeah. like, what are so many challenges people face. Yeah. So for you to be able to be a wild one brand, like mm -hmm. everyone in the world knows you, mm -hmm. what would you advise a DJ like me who's in Kenya yeah. from steps that people mm -hmm. take to blow up or what, what is it? I know to one, be able to one go is, on tour. Yeah one, yeah, one is you have to be a producer. That's one thing I've noticed. Okay. So something else. Yeah, um, you have to have a niche, though. like you have to have something that draws people towards you, you know, whether it's your style of playing or it's how you interact with the crowd, you get what I mean? You can't just be a DJ that just plays music, then you're no good to the crowd. You yeah. Get what yeah. I mean? So yeah. when I say find your niche, I mean like find something that's going to draw people towards you. Right. Yeah, so that's what I use. Yeah. And speaking of that, how do you maintain high level of energy like throughout the show? You probably start playing by from 11 and you have a set that goes all the way to 2, 3 a.m. And you have to, you know, you have to still have the energy. How do you do that? Because it's not easy. People think it's easy until you're there. It's not. Uh, Everyone <laughs> wants their, depending on you, to have yeah. a good time. So 100%. how do you do that? Uh, no, I just feed off of energy, see? Mm -hmm. Like the more energy that I give to the people that are listening mm -hmm. is the more energy they give back and that just keeps me going. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know about other DJs, but yeah, yeah. that's how I feed <laughs> it's off. It's all of us. It's energy. If, if there's no energy, mm -hmm. we struggle. You struggle, it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, I think it's also human nature. Mm -hmm. yeah. And have you had technical difficulties? How do you handle that? Like we had, <laughs> when you were starting, you saw that. We, mm -hmm. we had a little bit of something, something. Van Epic Van managed, <laughs> managed to fix it just in time. He managed to fix it like in time. How do you handle that? When you're, uh, you, 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 you've you been called to perform, you go there like, oh, my machine does not look like this. That's normal. I don't know how to, you, you know, yeah. uh, how do you handle that? Oh man, I just, I adapt easily. Mm -hmm. I adapt easily. Like if I see something with the, Close to 20 years that I've been that I've been in the industry, I, I like I know my way around everything that I've seen in my lifetime. You get what I mean. Mm. So, uh, if I have a technical tea with the decks, I can grab a mic and just perform with the crowd. You get what yeah. I mean. Get them going until the problem is fixed. Or if I find decks that I'm not too sure of, I don't take more than five minutes to learn. You get what oh. I mean. So yeah. I'll I'm a fast that. adapter. So you adapt very, and in most quickly. cases, I, I bet you also carry your own equipment just well, because. Uh, yeah, you know. yeah, All right, yeah. so as you wind up, maybe you can give us like maybe a parting shot or if you have any shout outs, your handles, all that using camera for. Oh yeah, uh, shout out to Kenya and thank you to everybody for listening to my music and supporting South African music. I'm looking forward to collaborating and bringing your music to South Africa so that they can know more of this beautiful country. And shout out to Culture Entertainment Kenya and to all the people that have brought me here, man. Yeah. I'm very humbled. Thank yeah. you. And we are so glad. Thank you so much for coming through. You know, anytime you're in 254, this is home. You don't even have to ask. You just come through. All right? Thank so you. So thank you so thank much you. for coming. I think the DJ is going to play some more of your music. But right. uh, I just want to say thank you. And shout out to Culture, man. Culture for bringing you through. We appreciate them so much. Thank you so much. All right. So more music. We're coming back with more shout outs. You are watching Bounce Nation. Keep it right. Oh, we still have the speed of coming up yes keep it here we still yes. have a lot of and interesting i'm quite stuff. excited about speed off today uh -huh. it's gonna be insane okay, okay. so the speed of basically we have two rappers so you speed they speed then the fans decide who's Cheating. who's the illest oh yes. right. all right yeah. that's dope all right that's coming up in a few keep it bounced nation all right <laughs> let's go